I want to bring in Tony Say, public relations guy at the Treasury Department. <laughs> Stuart, you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Great to be with. I had no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, I'm not grinding an axe on behalf of the one percent. I'm simply saying that if you don't, if you make them pay more in tax, more than they're paying already, and that will happen. You don't stimulate the economy like you could stimulate the economy. Stuart, I think we have to expand this conversation. And not to suggest that where you're focusing isn't something we're sensitive to. But remember, we're keeping the top rate at 39.6% for those, at least in the House's plan, earning a million dollars and more. We are dramatically cutting rates across the board. We're broadening the base. This is very Reagan-esque in that regard. But when you look also at the business side, what we're doing, reducing the rate from 35 to 20, taking the small yep. business tax rate, making it yep. the lowest it's been at the top side in 80 years, stimulating capital spending, stimulating productivity, wage growth, and economic growth. That's where everybody wins, and that's what you're going to get with this tax reform. Oh, address this one for me. The housing industry. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose the mortgage interest deduction on mortgages greater than $500,000. That's a big cut in, in, the, in, in the mortgage interest deduction. And do you know how many mortgages are above 500000 6%. So yep. this whole kind of sky is falling idea, um, I think, is incorrect, uh, and it's not necessarily something that um, the American people should worry about. What, what, you, what you've seen is we have preserved the mortgage interest at 500000 which I think is very important, and we're doing things to make sure middle-income families have meaningful, stimulative tax relief. This is, was always the priority of the president on the individual side, and on the business side, what you've seen is creating a pro-growth environment by which we get an economy that has a sustained level of growth of over 3%. When Ronald Reagan has it reforms, it reached 4.2 percent. We feel we could achieve that. Our own Council of Economic Advisors mm. have shown we could reach up to 5 percent with the tax reform fully implemented. When you look at workers, they've not had a pay raise in 10 years while corporate profits are up by 11 percent offshore. Why? Because we have a system that disincentivizes those profits from reinvesting into this country. We're changing that to the point where an American Got worker it. could get anywhere from four to $9,000 increase in their paycheck alone. Okay. I don't think we're going to get 4 percent growth rate. Even with this, if it was passed as is, I want you to come back at some point in the future and you face me and you tell me, yeah, we're still going to get 4% growth. Look, it's, it, it's, our, it, it's our goal. We have two consecutive quarters of 3%. That's the right trajectory. <laughs> okay, Tony. <laughs> Thanks very much. You come on back now. Anytime, Stuart. <laughs> okay. Thanks.